a corticosteroid injection into the first dorsal compartment of the wrist may be recommended for patients with de Quervain's tenosynovitis that does not respond to rest, immobilization, and anti-inflammatory medication. Risks associated with the procedure are reviewed with the patient, including infection, bleeding, post-injection pain flare, dimpling or discoloration of the skin, weakening or rupture of tendons, nerve injury, and elevated blood sugar. Consent is obtained. A mixture of 0.5 milliliters of triamcinolone 40 milligrams per milliliter or its equivalent and 1 milliliter of 1% lidocaine is prepared. A 25 or 27 gauge needle is used. The wrist is positioned in neutral or slight ulnar deviation. The injection site is approximately 5 mm proximal to the tip of the radial styloid with the goal of placing the needle inside the first dorsal compartment. The tendons of the first dorsal compartment are more easily palpated by having the patient extend and abduct the thumb. The thumb is then relaxed for the injection. The injection site is marked. The skin is cleansed and prepped with alcohol followed by betadine or chlorhexidine. The needle is directed proximally and introduced into the first dorsal compartment, nearly parallel to the tendons. Care is taken to avoid injecting the tendons. Resistance to injection suggests that the needle is in a tendon. It should be withdrawn slightly until there is no resistance before proceeding. Once the medication has been administered, the needle is withdrawn. The skin is wiped clean and dressed with a small adhesive bandage. The patient is instructed to keep the injection site clean and dry for 24 hours to rest the wrist and thumb for one to two days, and to monitor the injection site for infection or other complications.